Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. All right, it is Friday energy. We are in, uh, Spirit mentioned yesterday, like clarity, clarity coming in for you. And I want to say too, when I said clarity, Spirit was like, like, how would I explain this? Clarity in self. Like, and what I, sorry, this is when they're talking and I'm trying to talk also. They're showing me it is clarity in how you, how you do you in your daily life. And so what I mean by that is there's clarity coming in, not only in your relationships and your heart space, but there's clarity coming in in how you kind of do your daily routine, how you express yourself, how you show yourself to the world. Like you're getting clearer on who you are on the outside because you know who you are on the inside. And so you're beginning to know how you wish to express that. And that is such a key piece in bringing in those manifestations because when you, when you express the energy of who you are, it draws exactly what you want to you. So very cool. Okay, let's see what the message is. I'm gonna finish up the week with the Mystical Shaman pocket deck. Let's see what it is. Okay. Spirit's like divine timing. So interesting. Okay. I want one more on that one. Okay. Okay. So first one, like we had early in, in the week, we have the crow. And again, the crow for me, huge messenger symbolism. <clears throat> the crow really is like so many times they will describe the crow as the messenger from the higher realms. A lot of people will think that crows are omens of death. And for me, truly the crow is a messenger. Anytime I've had crows come around, they are bringing a message of something and it's the message is kind of like pay attention, pay attention to what unfolds today. And I would say nine times out of 10, when the crows showed up or the raven, um, it is a very positive thing. So with the cards that I'm seeing here, this is very positive. The crow is coming forward to say, pay attention this weekend, pay attention. Now, what the spirit world wants us to pay attention to is um, let's go with the hummingbird first. So here we have yet again, another winged energy. Okay. Wings have been really big. That concept of taking flight things beginning anew or beginning again, the hummingbird is such a positive symbol of new beginnings of growth, of brightness, of swift speed of color, like things have the potential to move very quickly this weekend, because again, you're becoming more clear in who you are and how you express that. You're becoming more colorful like the hummingbird. You're becoming um, more magnetic, which allows changes to happen faster, right? Like hummingbirds fly fast. You're, you're bringing in this energy of swift, fast change taking flight, which is so cool. Now, the other one I want to say is that there are many paths to this. So this many path card, Okay. They're saying there's a couple ways you could read this. So for some, this could mean that there are many ways to get to where you're going, that you may have this ideal outcome, uh, person, connection, idea, and they're saying there's many paths. And the biggest thing you need to do is consider what feels in alignment with you, because with whatever feels in alignment will bring you there. But there's many ways you can find that path, right? Many water slides that lead, lead to the same pool. So they're saying, instead of worrying about doing everything perfectly and exactly the way you feel it should go with what feels aligned, because if somebody else is involved in your, uh, desire, whatever that is, their free will could change how it happens. So for some of you, the reason why there's many paths is because there are other people involved in what you're desiring to manifest and each person's free will involved in that can alter the timing of it. So spirits like, don't worry about the things you can't control because the paths are going to lead you to where you want to go. Again, many water slides leading to one pool. So that's one, one message. 
The other message that may resonate for some of you is that, yeah, some of you are spending time regretting the path that brought you to this point, right? Some of you are still hanging on to past things where you're like, you know, I wish I hadn't have done that. And if I hadn't have done that, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. And we've all done that cycle in our thought before, I'm pretty sure. I know I have. But the thing is, is they're saying, Spirit's like, no matter your choices, we will always give you opportunities to reroute. That's what your spirit guides are for. They're always giving the next opportunity to reroute and take a detour back to your alignment. So no matter where you diverted along the way, you gained information, knowledge, lessons, whatever it may be from that to get you to where you are now. That no path is meant to be a complete straight line because that's not the human dynamic. That's not the dynamic of, of free will, duality, all of that. It's about those choices in that path. But Spirit says, please trust in the reasonings or the synchronistic nature behind why you took the path you did, but revel in the fact of where you are now. And instead of looking back at your past with kind of like a regret and you know that like, oh, why? Or what was that? Think, what did I learn in that? Who am I now? And what does this mean for me now? Because it is added to your knowledge base, for sure. The bigger the detour, the bigger the lesson, the more knowledge and wisdom you carry. So maybe you can flip that perspective today and see yourself as a deep traveler with so much to share now because of where you've gotten to, okay? That's that one. Now, the next one, um, I'm just pulling interesting. Okay, this is so interesting. So um, I pulled the smoky mirror, okay? And I was just pulling extra cards because I was asking Spirit, how do you want me to interpret this card? And they're like, pull. And so what I ended up pulling is the coyote, the jaguar, and the tree of life. And so they're kind of speaking in reference to what I was just talking about with the smoky mirror. Sometimes we're given uh, insights as to where we can go, but it's a little bit blurry. It's a little bit smoky or a little bit foggy. And we're wondering like, what the heck is going on? And Spirit is like, there's always a concept of duality and balance in whichever way they lead us on our path. So sometimes we will look in the mirror and the mirror will be very clear. And sometimes we'll look in the mirror and it'll be a little bit foggy or smoky. Regardless of how we see ourselves in that mirror, there is always purpose behind it because the purpose is it's offering us the duality. And this Tree of Life card really ex like expresses that beautifully with these two trunks winding around each other to form an even stronger ba tree base, right? The duality of the two sides allows us a greater depth of learning by choosing which way we wish to twist and turn and bend and then ground in the knowledge of that. And so that's really represented by the coyote and the jaguar. Now, both of these can have a lot of different ways you read the symbolism. What I wanna bring out though with this is the opposition. So the coyote often can be seen as like a trickster energy, uh, a fox could be similar, whereas the jaguar is this like protector energy. So they're kind of talking about these two energies being the basis of our experiences in the twisting trees here that sometimes the mirror will show us something that may not be true or sometimes the mirror can show us something that is is hidden within ourselves regardless regardless first thing to do is always honor your path the duality of where you've moved through or what you have moved through and what brought you to this point today the second though now with the knowledge that you have where did that card go with the knowledge that you have, when you come across now the smoky mirror type experience where you can't quite see or maybe what you're looking at, you can't see it or maybe you're looking at yourself and you can't fully see it, pause. Pause. Because to take in everything that is available to you in that, be like the tree and pause. The tree isn't in a rush to grow. The tree is growing at a natural rate. And so Spirit wants to remind you, and again, general message, that in this experience, 
allow yourself to pause and gaze and allow the clarity to show itself. Because again, this weekend, we're stepping into an energy of clarity. There is an energy of forward movement and clarity that can show itself in so many different ways. So it's something really to consider for you as you move through this journey here, moving forward. Consider the clarity. So I will leave that with all of you today. Happy Friday, everyone. May you have a beautiful weekend. May it bring you clarity and peace. And I so look forward to connecting with you all soon.